Howdy, howdy, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Reign of Giants Don't Starve. Okay, so Don't Starve is like the pinnacle of what I want in a game. They came out, they released this early game, and they've just been evolving, evolving, and building, and building. And so it is everything I love about this game. And they just dropped DLC, so there's even more content to it. Already a massive game with tons of stuff to it. So on top of the normal Don't Starve playthrough where we're getting through Maxwell's door, we're going to be playing the Reign of Giants. Now, quick preface. The this DLC I don't know how to disable it, so it may affect the uh, playthrough that we already have going. So we'll see. It shouldn't because that playthrough is already going, and I'm about to start a new world with uh, Wigafred. So I think it's Wigafred. That is the new character. Let's check. Let's see. Play new game. Ooh, it's always. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can either disable it or not. So we do want Re Reign of Giants character. Um. Now, it should be a new character unlocked. Oh, apparently you have to unlock her. Huh. Interesting. Well, we'll just go with uh, the Gentleman Scientist again. Okay. So, world settings. There is. There are two more... Uh, there are two more seasons. Autumn and spring. So, yeah, see? Uh, start season. Autumn or spring. Uh, okay, so let's see if there's anything else. Oh, look at Apparently, dead berries can spawn in. Um, I know very, very little of what's going on right now, so, uh, I don't like this, that, I don't know what that is. Um, okay, it looks like I know all this stuff on the right. Ice crystals, I don't know what, that must, okay, I don't know, cactus, tumbleweed, this is cool. They've added in a lot of stuff. Is that a mole? Looks like a mole. Vultures, so, coal fans, uh, <laughs> what is that? That's like some sort of weird derpy deer. Okay. Is that the eye bone? Is that supposed to be the eye bone? I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. We just want default for all. What the dickens? Okay, so that's one of the giants. Um, Krampus. I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is either. Uh, some sort of bug thing. Anyways, let's, uh, enough, uh, enough lollygagging. Let's get right into the world. Okay, so, uh. I did some research and it turns out the only way to unlock uh, the new character is to actually create a new world and die in it. So uh, like the Reign of the Giants world. So yeah, uh, we'll be doing that. So we're going to have to play through the new world as uh, poor little Wilson, uh, but that is okay. What is, what's up with the tree? That's super weird. Look at it. It's, uh, the, I, should I cut it down? I feel like the Lorax is going to tell me that I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> that's cool. So obviously that's the first thing that, uh, they've added back in. I mean, Danny DeVito is going to be real pissed when I start chopping down all these trees. But, uh, yeah. So I, I heard that one of the ways you can tell, because obviously you need some way to tell the different seasons. Uh, you can tell fall and spring by the trees. So let's see. Did I get enough to make an axe? Yes, good, because I want to I want to hack down one of those trees. Let's see. Good. Oh, we're uh, we're slowly making our way away from it. I know that it is in the other direction. There's okay. I want to explore the new DLC, but I also I want to live a little bit. So we're gonna we'll make it to we'll make it to day ten. How about that? We'll make it to day ten, then we'll start over with uh, Wigfred, and that way we really get the feeling for thing. Or I mean, it is. There's there's so much new in this game. It's all I've heard. It's almost like a new game, new game altogether. So, and I've uh, I've done nothing, like to research to figure out what. Can I eat that? A birch nut. I guess. Why is it green like that? Oh, do pine cones spoil? Do they spoil now? And oh, here let me chop down this one more tree, and we'll uh, we'll just we'll see what uh. Our good old friend, Wilson the Scientist, has to say about it. Let's see. Uh, inspect. There's definitely something inside. So, I'm curious then. Is he able... Are we able to break open and eat the uh, the seeds now? Like, could we... Could Really? We just spawn next to a Maxwell's bio. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if that's just a fluke or if that's like the way things are now. <laughs> that's cool. I mean, that's... That makes it more, uh, m makes you more able to get marble and also to set up your base with the carpet. That, uh, that flooring there is carpet. It can actually be dug up with a pitchfork. And, uh, 
So, we, once we get a base started on our second playthrough of this, I guess. Um, or maybe I'll go till I die. I don't know. I really, I really want to try the Wigfred character. Um, you know, let's just see what happens first. Was that tree shedding? Uh, I felt like it was, 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 wasn't it dropping something when we came over there to start with? Let's chop it down and see what happens. I guess nothing. It would be really funny if they had a Lorax character. I really, uh, I just really hope that it pops out and it's smoking a cigar and it's just like, hey, you, I speak for the trees and you, uh, better him than me. Your, uh, your, your empathy always gets me, Wilson. Yeah, oh yeah, but he, was, he just comes out and he's like, you know, I speak for the trees. You're a, a bloody fucking asshat just chopping out all these trees and not replanting any of them. I'm gonna... What is this? What? A merm? Just a random merm? Isn't that kind of far away from home? Whoa, I hear a battle down here too. What is going on over here? This never... This is so weird. Why is... Why are there just a random mob of merms and pigs? Um, well, we definitely want to... I mean, take advantage of this. Uh, he's sleeping. I don't... I really don't want to pick a fight with him. Uh... I, <laughs> I'm really I'm perplexed at what's what is going on. Look at this and pigskin. What the dickens is this? I really I'm so I'm so startled by what's going on. Um, did we find merms in our in our other playthrough? I don't think so. Merms are basically mermen uh, with badass attitudes, and they usually they hide in the swamps though. Uh, they actually have little, they have like pig houses, except for their merm houses, obviously. And, uh, yeah, so, let's see, I need some, I need some grass, otherwise, oh no, I have enough to make a torch. So, but yeah, that's super, that's super weird that those merms and stuff were just marauding around. I wonder if that's a thing now. Like, you could just get randomly sacked by a group of merms, your base, so you gotta plan for, uh, plan for that now. This, uh, we have... This is, this is weird. Like the, uh, it's not the usual displace or dispersal of like trees and stuff. Um, or biomes, my bad. The biomes here seem to be a lot smaller. I wonder if it must be like the world gen. They must have shook it up, which is fine by me. Um, I honestly, what is this? A collapsed rabbit hole. The kingdom of the bunny man closed for the season. Weird. I wonder why that one's collapsed. I wonder if something, uh, dug into it. And these trees, these keep, these trees keep shaking stuff out of them. I'm not imagining it. I'm not crazy. I'm not, okay, I am. I'm, <laughs> only crazy people say I'm not crazy, actually. So, if somebody is like, you know, I'm not crazy, you should turn to them and say, by golly, what time is it? I should, I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack, and then get as far away from them as possible, and possibly tell the, your local, you know, like, health psychologist, that uh, this person is batshit crazy and not fit for normal society so that they can, you know, be in prison and, you know, tied up and stuff. I was going to grab those stones, but honestly, I can't hold them. Although, I have a ton of food in my inventory. This is so... When does that ever happen that you get this much food? Um, we'll eat these berries real quick, I, I guess. Uh, and we'll plant these. Yeah. Okay, two trees. You know, actually, something weird is that... Uh, the two trees that I chop, I chopped down, only dropped one like pine cone a piece. So does that mean that like pine cones are now a non-renewable resource? And uh, we definitely need to figure out how to grab this gold. Um, oh boy. Okay, what are we gonna drop? Um, shucks. I guess we'll eat these. Grab this gold. Okay, good. Um, so we need to keep track of what our look at this more gold. More gold! Good! It's because uh, the graveyard. So people, you know, leaving it for their, uh, their, their dead relatives, dead, gone, dumb relatives to, uh, make it to the other, the underworld. And we're just, of course, coming through and ransacking it, just stealing everything, and we'll... I heard you, turkey. Don't think I didn't hear you. Hate turkeys. I hate them. You guys know that I just have disdain for turkeys. Uh, right, and we're just sacking and pillaging, you know, um, these poor people's graves and uh, taking all that the families, you know, gave to them. 
to bring them comfort in the underworld. So not only are we harassing people in life, but also in death. We're just, you know, we're just kind of really nice. We're a really nice guy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to stick to my same tactic of don't starve, which is run, run around during the night and explore and then, you know, eat during the day and do that for the first, like, five days. I found that's, that's a really good tactic. Uh, so, I mean, it, it works. Oh, um, there we go. It's gonna say let's uh let's not let Charlie get us. That'd be bad. Charlie, of course, is the the Gru that uh, eviscerates eyeballs. And uh, oh boy, I'm just I'm so pumped that they finally came out with a with an update for it. So what is that noise? What is that noise? What are you? What is that? Is that a mole? Can we kill the mole? Oh, it ate the, the flint! Um... Okay! <laughs> um... This is... I'm so... Oh, right. We're not supposed to eat raw meat. Humans don't eat raw meat. That was so weird! I mean, is that a puddle? What's with the puddle? Why is there a puddle? Mini mel melted mini glacier. It's nothing useful until it freezes. What is this? Oh, that must have been the ice. Oh, this must be a rock biome. Okay. So that means that Oh, look at that. It's um a very insulated. Okay. Leave us the fuck alone. Words I'm not I don't know. I didn't even touch anything. Okay, all I wanted to do was just explore a little bit. You bugger, I, you don't even have a fucking egg. Don't even start with me. Oh yeah, look at they show up as uh, those ice crystals on the map. That's cool. Um, boy, oh boy, we really don't want to, we really just don't want to mess with him at the moment. Um, let's see. This is cool. This is a whole new game. It really is. I keep saying that, uh, and I sound like a, a bloody broken record, but it really is. There's so much in it that, uh, I hope that I have some hardcore Don't Star fans who are watching this. And uh, just screaming at me because I'm doing a terrible, terrible job. And uh, they can't afford to play the game themselves yet. So I'm just like, you know, pointing and laughing. and <laughs> Suckers! Uh, so, and then they, you know, are just like, oh, I'm going to watch until he dies. And by some miracle of, you know, just pure dumb luck, uh, I survived for a really long time. Kind of like when Shin survived out today, like, 200 and he never even built a base, he just ran the whole time somehow and managed to survive, just complete dumb luck. I even through the winters. Uh, or maybe he survived before they, they, they implemented winters. There was, a weird, uh, there was a weird point last year before they actually added winters into Don't Starve. And uh, as you can imagine, that changed up the game dynamic a whole lot. So people were able to survive in these very unorthodox methods, such as just running. We're going to go up because why not? I really, I really want to, you know, find some more just cool stuff. So we're actually, we're gathering. I like how uh, plentiful the rocks are. We need to find some beefalo, though, because if we plan on making out to day 10, I mean, we could, technically we could just run around until day 10 uh, and just completely explore everything that there is out here to see and explore and then trade over once it's, I can't carry any seeds. That's maybe not the best. Uh... Let's eat these. I I still can't carry any seeds. Uh, it's, I'm not going to waste those two uh, berries so that I can carry some seeds. What do you think I am? Dumb? I, don't don't answer that. That was rhetorical. I know you guys think I'm dumb. Okay? It's not my fault. Not <laughs> Kind of is. I could, I don't know, go to school. I go to school. I promise I do. I, um, I could, you know, just, I could learn you some real good math if you wanted. Or some real good English, for that matter of fact. <laughs> so... I am curious if uh, if the things to the portal to the next world are here because I think that uh, if they are, we could actually portal out of here, and then uh, I think you can change characters to the worlds. I'm not totally sure, uh, but it it caches in your XP. So let's see. We uh, whoops, not what I meant to do. I like how they. Allow you to focus on that object so you can really look at your, like, 
contemplate your inventory before you do anything. I wonder if that actually pauses time, though. So, all right. Come on. Uh, good. We found ourselves a plug sinkhole in case we ever want to go into the the deep, dark, gross under. Which, uh, which of course we don't. It's just, it's a terrible. Tis a silly place. Let's let's not go there. There's no there's no need to go there. Uh, I don't want to go there. Please don't make me go there. Please, oh please. I'm sorry. I promise I'll be a good boy. Just don't make me go there. Okay, so we're finding more of these silly trees. Silly, silly trees. Uh, are we hungry enough to... Yeah, we'll eat one more berry. Uh, give me some flowers. We need some flowers so we can make a, a flower hat. I think we need 11, 12 flowers, right? Yes, so we are, we're getting close. Um, I'm gonna leave some of these carrots because maybe I'll come back and find them later and it'll just be like a great surprise or maybe like a hungry bunny rabbit's gonna find them and just go to, go to town and, you know, who am I to rob that bunny rabbit of eating all of those carrots so i just made some bunny rabbit stay and you guys wanted me to ruin his day good so we have our we have our our crown of flowers good this is let's see we're we're heading in a circle um <laughs> okay so let's head head down and then maybe we'll find like a boon in that dark space uh, are we looking at dark space now yes we are good so like a boon right about now and it just falls on the screen like that no, no, that's, uh, those are bees out here in the distance. No boon, but that's okay because there's going to be a boon to our left, actually, right? About here. Um, no? No, I, I guess not. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, it was worth a shot. You guys would really think I was the Don't Start Master if all of a sudden I was just like, I sense a boon! And there, all of a sudden there was one. You guys would be like, oh my god, I'm going to click the subscribe button right now. Uh, okay, so let's, boy, oh boy, I really, I really, I Honestly, uh, I know it's probably a bad thing to say. I kind of want to find one of the giants. I don't know what they... Is that a butt? What is this? A glomer statue? I'm not sure what it's supposed to be either. Is that a pan flute? What in the dickens? That's useful. Heck yeah, I'm going to pick that up. It's 100% too. Oh, okay. I thought there was something else making noise. Like, running around in the dark... Darkest. It's just me. Okay. Uh, so we found ourselves a new a new biome. Cool. So I wonder what this biome is called. I like this turf though. Uh, we definitely need to make. We definitely need to equip our torch. Equipped. Good deal. Um, there's a lot of roads in here actually, uh, and it's kind of just empty down here. It's kind of weird that they have. Okay. There's the trees. Good. I was gonna say it's kind of weird that there was like that big empty open spot. Okay. Let's see. Uh, not a whole lot that we can see at night. Um. You know, usually I would end it here, but uh, since we just got this DLC, uh, I don't know about you guys, I'm... <laughs> what? Are those cats? Hello? Um, hello? He hello? I, I can hear you. I can't see you. You should show yourself. Whoa, what was that? What? It's, it's a cat! It's adorable! Oh, shoot, right. Uh, okay. okay. Look at it! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Show yourself, cat -coon. Kinda like a man -coon cat. I'ma name you Yahtzee. Where'd it go? It's hiding from me. I wonder if I can... Oh, I bet you I can feed it the fish and it'll follow me. I'm definitely gonna try it. Um, once I find it <laughs> again. Okay, come on. Where are you hiding? Meow. 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 I, I hear you. I just don't see you. Um, there you are. Hey, what's up? Uh, is it eating the fireflies? What is it doing? I mean, this probably suits you better than me. Oh, no, not what I meant to do. Ugh. Uh, that was bad for me. Okay, uh, equipped. Oh, look at it, it's chasing the butterfly. It's so cute. Let's see. Give it. Oh, is he gonna follow me now? Come here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, hi. Your name is Yahtzee, okay? I wonder, look, I wonder if it just follows me forever now. I hope. I wonder, can I give it frog legs too? That would be cool. I mean, I have no use for these frog legs. I'm not gonna. 
I'm not gonna eat him like raw. So, uh, okay. Come on. Let's go, Yahtzee. Up to the path. You are really slow. Oh, you are definitely slowing down the progress of our journey. Um, is he gonna? Sp is it gonna speed up once we get? No. Um. Okay. You know what? We'll. Did I just throw up? Gross. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> okay. So it uh, it is only for. Well, I I really enjoyed our time together. So I'll give you one more fish and then just mosey on over. Uh, so cool. If we ever. Like need to fight. Look at this. Uh, these are these savage pigs again. Dag gum it. Dag gum pig. Okay. Well, I mean, if we need, would you look at that? A maxwell. I wonder if we can break that. Oh wow, we're finding a lot of stuff. Did you see that up in the the left hand corner? That was a uh, a sleeping hound, which uh, we really. Oh, it's there's an ice staff in the middle of them. It's kind of tempting to... I wonder if I can get the, the clockwork to attack him. No. Um, boy, oh boy. I'd, I really shouldn't attack these right now. I think that's a bad idea. Okay, well, that's okay. At least we... Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, not good. Um, let's see who wins. Oh, maybe not the best idea, Yahtzee. Yahtzee, no! What? What? Um, okay. Let's kill it. Wow, okay. Um, I mean, is that a hat? Is, uh, is the what? A cat cap? <laughs> what? This is, uh, I'm without words. This is literally a whole new game. I just, I don't know what to, okay, we gotta drop this. Take the cat cap. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, that must keep us warm in the winter. Okay, so if we need to warm our heads, we can wear a cat cap. I wonder if that actually provides like any uh, protection in battle. I don't. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I mean, it's ah, oh, I hate you. Go burn in hell, turkey. I make a sandwich out of you later. Mmm, turkey sandwich. Ah, oh, now I got myself all. Think about that turkey sandwich. Just a little bit of uh, mayo mixed with some mustard, and yes, ah, uh, I'm just oh, I'm jonesing for it. I can't wait for it. I'm a, right after this recording is done. I'm going to hey, look. It's another mole. Um, hi mole. Searching for minerals. Uh, right after the session. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna go and eat the ebble living out of a. Uh, a turkey sandwich. I can't. Oh man, with a little bit of melted pepper jack on it, and the mustard and mayo mixed together, the best sandwich in the world. And if you don't think so, I will fight you. Uh, let's see, where have we not gone? Um, okay, so let's go. Let's go over this way. Let's explore as much as we can of this map before our time is done. I just kind of. I wonder if the giants spawn in like. Uh, like the deer clops does? I don't know. Or if it's uh, like I'd have to destroy that little statue that we found earlier. I wonder if Maxwell's. Yeah, there is a Maxwell's. I wonder if we like destroy the statue if the giant comes. That's a hmm. Hmm. That really makes me wonder. Actually, makes me kind of want to go back and break that statue. Maybe a little bit later. We'll uh, we'll try it at least. I mean, we might as well because at the very least it'll give us marble which is a valuable resource because you can make the best armor in the game in fact with a pig helmet and a marble suit you you it absorbs like 98 percent of all damage which uh, for those of you that uh aren't super good at math that's almost 100 uh, percent i can't tell you how close though uh it's, it's yep can't tell you wouldn't be able to tell you i don't know how close to 100 percent I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's very close. I've been told it's very close. So, uh, wow, we actually have maxed out our stack of rocks. That never happens before you set up a base. We may actually, uh, and we haven't even broken any stones yet. That's so bizarre. Okay, but we really need beefalo. Um, like really bad. Oh, look at that. There's, uh, there's actually a like force biome or a. 
a uh, planes biome, it looks like, down in the bottom. Bottom right. So let's go. We'll run to that before... Uh, let's see. Let's let's start. Might as well start a second second stack of rocks because you always need rocks, especially for, uh, for like... Uh, what do you call them? Crockpots. So... And as you know, crockpots are the, the way to go in this game. You need crockpots, otherwise you're going to die. Because when you actually, uh, as you guys saw in my other playthrough, I stuck, you stick the things in the crockpots, they, they don't go bad. They, they keep for a really long time. So, okay, so this isn't exactly a biome that's going to have beef flow in it. Dadgummit. Um, hmm. Up that way it must be the beef flow or something. We'll go check that in. Uh, hey, look! Uh, it's a grass suit. We can become one with nature now. Yay! And, uh, I guess if we really needed to, use it as protection. Although, grass suits are <laughs> laughable. They're the worst protection in the world. And we just found the Pig King! Yay! I wonder if he, he take, will take this. Nope. Okay. I, I, he only takes certain boons. But, uh, I figured, I mean, hey, it's worth a shot. So, we could actually set up in here, um... Because you feed pigs berries or carrots, and they will produce ma manure. It's a it's a much much slower way of of getting started. Possibly a bad idea, but I mean, considering we're only we only we're only gonna make it to day ten, and then uh, I plan on, you know, mutually assured destruction. We uh, which <laughs> doesn't apply to the situation at all. Um, well, hey, we found one of the boons. So, whoops, not what I meant to do. Equipped. Good deal. Um, let's see. Let's, uh... Oh, we don't have any where to put those berries. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's, um... Boy, oh boy. Oh, man. It's... I gotta... It's, I'm gonna have to end the episode once it gets uh, gets light out again. Is this a land... Those trees startled me a little bit. Um... Oh, no, what I meant to do. Shit. Uh... Oh, okay. Get back, Charlie. <laughs> I can hear you. I heard you screeching around in the dark. I don't like that at all. Uh, okay, please be like a bridge to. I hear I, I hear Yahtzee. He's back. Um, please be a bridge to a savanna biome so that I can get some beefalo and like set up it right over here by Yahtzee. That'd just be great. Um, boy oh boy, uh, there's a pig house. Not. Super what I was looking for. End of the line. Daggum. I'd, I'm very surprised we haven't found a... This this forest biome is huge. Like, look at this. Compared to the rest of the map, it's ginormous. This, the uh, the tundra or the savannah biome must be over there. So we'll... Next episode, we'll, uh, we'll book it over there. Uh, let's see. We really need... Is this... We're just, we'll just keep tracing out the, the edge of this. So, I can't believe it. We found a, a new biome, new trees, cats, a weird statue, uh, two Maxwell's, like, biomes, which is weird. Uh, they must have, they must have recalculated how things spawn. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Uh, look at all these fireflies. That's actually really weird that there's so many fireflies right here. Okay, so, uh... Yep, we're gonna call it, uh... We're gonna call this good for now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. I'll tell you You guys, keep being good, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey, this has been Don't Starve Reign of Giants with Good Guy Mike. Wow, it's crazy. It's almost like a whole new game. Stick around for the next episode where Good Guy Mike finds Colonel Custard in the kitchen with the candlestick. Oh, I'm getting news now that that's, uh, that is actually Clue, not Don't Starve. Um, okay, well, I get the two mixed up. They're so similar, right? <laughs> Anyways, click that subscribe button.